Welcome to Teach Me Maths, my name is Jonathan Hicks. We're doing quartiles and ranges, yeah! Now this is a statistics topic. You really need to understand mean, median and mode before you watch this, particularly the median. You really need to know what the median is for this. Now mean, median and mode are all types of average. Quartiles are sort of related to averages uh, and range is just another way of measuring the sort of spread of the data. They're very straightforward though, so we'll dive right in with a list of numbers. This is very similar to the numbers I used for the mean, median and mode video. So imagine we've gone around a bunch of families and we asked each family, how many children do you have? And I wrote down all the answers and these are the numbers I've got. So I've got a slightly different list from before. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 numbers this time. Now the range, we'll do that first, that's the easiest one, is simply the highest value minus the lowest value. So the range for this set of numbers is going to be 5 minus 1, so it's 4. That's easy. Now, quartiles. Before we come on to the quartiles, you need to understand what the median is. And so, just to remind us, we're going to work it out again for this set of numbers. So the median is the one in the middle, remember? Median, think medium, the one in the middle. And you just pair your way in from the outside. So if that goes with that, that goes with that, pair, 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 that's the one in the middle. So that is the median. Yep, yeah. three. Now if the median is the number that's halfway through the list of numbers, the quartiles, well first of all if we do the lower quartile, the lower quartile is the one that's a quarter of the way through the list of numbers. So the lower quartile, uh, quart quartile, Often that's abbreviated LQ. So as I say, median is the one that's halfway through the numbers. The lower quartile is the one that's a quarter of the way through. Now, the easiest way to do that, you don't need to pair from the end or anything. Once you've found the median, just take the list of numbers that are on the left of the median, the first half, don't include the median. So start with those two and pair your way into the middle. So that pair, that pair, that's the one in the middle of the first half. So that is the lower quartile, it's two. That's the one that's a quarter of the way through. Yeah, so that'd be a quarter of the way through, halfway through. And you probably figured out by now, if the lower quartile is the one that's a quarter of the way through, the upper quartile, often abbreviated to UQ, is the one that's three quarters of the way through. So again, like you did with the lower half, you pair your way in. You just take the upper half and you pair your way in. So don't include the median, start from these ones, pair, pair, that's the one in the middle. So the upper quartile in this case is four. So those are the key quartiles. As I say, median is halfway through, lower quartile is a quarter of the way through, upper quartile is three quarters of the way through. But you just pair in with the, with the bottom half for the lower quartile, pair in with the top half for the upper quartile. Now if the range is the highest value minus the lowest value, the next thing we do is the interquartile range. Inter just means between, so it's the range between the quartiles. So it's simply the higher quartile minus the lower quartile. So that's very easy to work out. The interquartile range is simply the upper quartile value, so four, minus the lower quartile value, so two, and four minus two, it's two. And that's it. So the interquartile range will be two. So those are the quartiles. These can get a little more difficult when dealing with large lists of numbers, but the concepts don't change. Just like mean, median, mode, if you can get your head around the concepts here, you'll find it's a lot easier when dealing with a larger list of numbers. My name is Jonathan Hicks, and you're watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.